These were my fields then, fields wild, rich, and waiting, fallow since my father left. My father's name was Frank Miller, and he'd been missing in the Pacific for almost three years in that spring of 1945. On those bright mornings, my hope and I wouldn't run those wild fields, searching for some piece of him or for some other small seed left to grow wild and untended like me. To me, my father was a great and tragic hero. In my dreams, he would return to my mother and me, handsome and covered in glory. But this story isn't about dreams. This story is about one growing season. And in that season, there was my mother, there was the farm, and there was Tom, who wandered into our lives hungry, tired, and hurt. Girl. Looking for peace in a world that had precious little to spare. Mama! Chores. I got chores of my own girl, and only two hands to do them with. Mama, Mama. Just catch your breath, child. You're about to have a heart attack. Mama, Mama, I found a dead man. A dead man, Mama. A what? A dead man, Mama, only maybe he ain't dead yet. He called me a little girl. His leg's all bloody. Bloody? Yes, ma'am, up by the field. Pug, if this is one of your stories. It ain't a story, Mama. He's there. Pug. You see, Mama? Oh, Don't be scared, darling. Just go on up to the house and call Doc Anderson. Right away, Pud. Mister? Mister? I'm gonna get you up to the house. And you gotta help me. How'd this happen anyhow? Dog. A dog? About a mile up the road is a big farm. Orchard. That'd be Silas's place. Well, if you just lean on me and put your weight on over the leg. Well, that's mine. Oh, I wouldn't steal it more. Come on. Dead, Mama? He ain't dead. Just a poor fella got hurt, that's all. What you reading? Book. Well, I can see it's a book. What's it called? Ranger's Romance. What's it about? A ranger and his romance. How'd he get hurt? Dog bite. Why don't you put on them glasses instead of burying your face halfway through your hands like that? Lord, would I pay for them glasses and you're intent on making yourself blind anyhow. I don't like those glasses. Make me look like a bug. They do not. If I do, can't wear my school. I put them on to show sure shooting old Sammy Collins going to come up and say, Well, looky here. Here comes the bug. Pug the bug. He will? That's what he calls me. Pug the bug. That's what they all call me. I wish I had a different name. Well, you do. You have a lovely name. Opal. That's right. Opal. It's worse than Pug. It's a pretty name. Name of a gemstone, like mine's Ruby, yours is Opal. That's what your daddy wanted. He said his girls was jewels and he wanted them named as such. A Ruby and an Opal. Why don't you just name me Ruby like you? Because you ain't a Ruby, you're an Opal. You see, a Ruby's kind of hard and bright red and you can see right through it. But an Opal, well... An opal is pure white, like fresh snow on the outside. And on the inside, it's on fire. 
bright sparkles on the inside, pure and sweet on the outside, and that's you, sweetie. No, Mama. That's just to you. Sammy Kyle and I'll just pug the bug, or Opal the bug, or any other bug, just bug, bug, bug. It's all on account of them glasses. Well, you go put them on anyway, or you'll be pug the bat, because that's what you'll be blind as. Yes, ma'am. Go get Doc a cool glass of tea. Extra sweet? Yeah, extra sweet. Thank you. Well, it's a bad buy it, but the bone is broken. So who is he? Some hobo? Well, his name is Tom Walker. Gentleman of the road. Not the first one to come through here. I think they jump up around the bend just before the cotton gym. Well, I guess I can take him with me. Yes, sir. I really shouldn't be moving him tonight, though. Oh, he can stay here tonight. Here you are, sir. Oh, thank you, old Paul. Here we go. Thanks. That was just perfect. You're welcome, sir. You know what, Doc? Sit on the radio. Russians are in Germany. Looks like we're going to break the Siegfried line. Oh, that a fact. More boys coming home every day. Yeah. Well, can't go on much longer. I expect we'll be hearing from Frank soon. Well, well, you know, the whole town's falling for Frank, Ruby. We'll need him when this is all over. He'll be here. Oh, sure he will. Well, that fellow should be... Uh, He'd be able to walk tomorrow. I'd send him on his way, okay? Yes, sir. Right. I'll do that. Thanks, Doc. Mister? Mister? Pecans. Evening, Mr. Green. Those hunters took a hunk out of a hobo. Huh? Oh, he's okay. God rest him up inside. Kate Walker's not waking up even at eight. He looks hard. He don't like no one to touch his things. I'm thinking he's mysterious. Where's your mama? Inside. Evening, Ruby. Silas, come on in. I figured you could use these pecans, pie and such. Thank you. Heard you had some excitement up here with a fella. Well, no trouble. Doc had to patch him up a little. You ought to do something about them dogs of yours, Silas. Lots of men wandering around these days. Who knows what they're up to. Where you got him? In Pug's room. He's asleep. I reckon he'll sleep for a while. I could take him up to my place. Well, Doc says he shouldn't be moved. Besides, I'm the one who took him in. Well, I guess I could ask Charlie or his boy to come out and stay the night. You know, strange man in the house. Don't know who he is or what he's capable of. You alone with the little girl. I'll take care of him. It'll be fine. Fix some tea or something? 